back at it. <laughs> Hello everyone, Marwan's here. Oh God, speedball. Let's try that again. Hello everyone, Marwan's here, AKA Marwana, AKA Marweezy, AKA Love Marwini, AKA Mars, AKA Mar, the only one baby. <laughs> I'm back with another food review, and for today's food review, I'll be heading to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is one of my favorite fast food chains. The first food review that I've done for this year was from Jack in the Box when I tried their fish sandwich. I really love Jack in the Box, and I am heading there right now because they came out with a new sandwich. It's called a chili cheeseburger. I've never had chili in a burger before. I'm gonna give that one a shot to see how it is, if it's good. I'll tell you guys, today's weather, it is windy and cold. So I think it's definitely the perfect timing to try a chili cheeseburger. That should do the trick. Thank you. I got that way. I got the food, everyone, yay! Yeah! All right, got the food. What do y'all say we give this a shot? I love chili. I just don't eat it as often, but I do love the beef chili from Wendy's. So I'm basically imagining that chili on a burger. They even give me a fork. Are they expecting me to use a fork on a burger? Basically, I got the chili cheeseburger combo and it comes with fries and a drink as well. So much food, I need some help from the red plate. Da -da -da -da. The red plate, you guys. The red plate is one of my best friends. Been through a lot. I'm gonna carefully take the sandwich out of the box. I don't know how messy chili can get. <laughs> and here's the sandwich. Cheeseburger with onions and cheese and chili on it as well. I know they also had the option to do a double burger. So you basically get two of the beef patties with the chili on top. But I went ahead and I just went with a single patty. Gotta pose for that thumbnail, am I right? <laughs> now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the sandwich in half. And here's the sandwich on the inside. Okay. Lots of onions. They put a lot of onions on this thing. So really, it's just a cheeseburger that you expect from Jack in the Box with chili and onions. Still not sure how I'm gonna use this fork, but if I make a mess, it'll come in handy, I guess. <laughs> I need some room for this. All right. Okay, you guys, my first bite of the chili cheeseburger from Jack in the Box. Here we go. I love the fries. I have this weird thing with Dr. Pepper in which There's a bird on my windshield. What the hell was that, bird? You better not have poop on my windshield. Did you poop on my windshield? I swear. What'd you do, bird? Interrupting me while I was doing my food review? You just hop on my windshield and then you fly all the way over there, just chilling? You can't be jumping all over people's car. Oh, now there's a whole group of them. Oh, what the hell? I'm just gonna go back to my food review. Uh, as I was saying, uh, when it comes to Dr. Pepper, I don't drink Dr. Pepper at home. And yet, if I go to like restaurants or fast food and they ask me what kind of drink I want, I always go with Dr. Pepper. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, it tastes so much better out. Like uh, the Dr. Pepper, when you buy it yourself and you drink it at home, it just tastes so freaking sweet to me. So I don't know if it's like a fountain type of thing that they do to it at the restaurants and whatnot, but I don't know. It, I always prefer to drink Dr. Pepper. That was just a weird thing with the bird, though. One last bite. Since I didn't need to use the fork for the chili cheeseburger, I'm just gonna use it for the fries. <laughs> All done. Empty plate means it's time for the review. 
Okay, I just finished the food. It's time to review the chili cheeseburger from Jack in the Box. The chili cheeseburger combo from Jack in the Box, it does go for $4.99. And if you want to get a double cheeseburger with that chili, it'll be $5.99. It's like a dollar extra. And now that I gave it a shot, tried it out, ate the whole thing, I'm ready to let you all know what I think. If you know me, you'll know that I really love Jack in the Box. I haven't been disappointed by any of their new stuff or anything in their menu for that matter. With that said, I was a little bit let down by this chili cheeseburger and I'm gonna let you all know why. Just by looking at the sandwich, it felt like it was a bit small. So I can understand why they were offering a double patty cheeseburger. I just wanted to bring that up. So if you're looking to get full, you probably wanna go with a double because eating the sandwich took no time. I was able to finish the whole thing really quick. And that, with the fries, it will not fill you up. Another reason why I was a bit let down by the sandwich is the flavor of the chili. Uh, I honestly think that chili from Wendy's was more flavorful, more tasty, more chili. Uh, so that one tasted more better. This one tasted very basic. This one didn't have that much flavor to it. I don't know if it's like the lack of seasonings or something. And another reason why I was let down was the amount of onions that they put in this sandwich, okay? They put a lot of onions there. I don't know if they if they put the same amount for a double cheeseburger. So if you get a double cheeseburger, will they put double the amount of the onions that they just gave me for the single one or what? Because this sandwich had so much onions thrown in. And I love onions. I really, really love onions. But the fact that I'm mentioning that they put a lot on this sandwich should indicate just how much was on there because it overpowered everything i feel like especially when it comes to like fast food places they underestimate just how powerful the flavor of an onion is if i ever get the sandwich again i'm just gonna say either no onions or a little bit of onions that would fix my issue with the onion part but i just still wanted to bring it up for you all to know those three reasons alone is enough to unfortunately for the first time of eating at something from Jack in the Box to let you all know that this does not get Marwan's seal of approval. <laughs> and unfortunately that's disappointing because I can't recall any of the new stuff that Jack in the Box came out with that ended up disappointing me. But this sandwich did not stand out. They could have done it way better. I am glad that I tried it, obviously for the food review, but also I just love to try anything new that Jack in the Box comes out with. And just because I was disappointed with this sandwich, it doesn't change my opinion or anything like that from Jack in the Box. I love them. But this is just more like a feedback because this is the first time they come out with a sandwich like this. And if it's like for a limited time and they want to see how people respond to it to possibly bring it back in the future, but better, these are my thoughts on it. I want them to improve on the actual flavor of the chili, cut down on the onions, and maybe make the sandwich just a little bit bigger so then you could at least feel fulfilled and satisfied when you finish eating it. So they're all really like easy fixes, so it's not that much of a big deal. It's just not a sandwich that I would eat occasionally or more than once. If you're a fan of cheeseburger, if you're a fan of chili, and you do wanna give this one a shot, go for it. Just don't expect a whole lot especially if you have like amazing tasting chili this one is just very basic so basic that it's the type of chili you might eat from like a cafeteria at school <laughs> it just didn't have that chili flavor that we're all accustomed to them onions though so if you do want to try this sandwich out but you don't want to eat too much of the onions just ask for a little bit of it that's all and there you go that's my take on that chili cheeseburger from jack in the box Oh well, I'm always curious to see what they'll come up with next. I love when they try new ideas. This was one of them. It just, it could have been executed better. Maybe they'll bring it back later on and it tastes so much better than this one. Who knows? And now I shall head back home. There'll be more food reviews in the future. Make sure you have me on Instagram at only one to see a lot more content. And if you're looking to see even more content, especially exclusive content, Definitely check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash marijuana. Every month there's a new video for Patreon. So definitely check those out if you're looking to see more content from yours truly, Mar the only one. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching this video, for checking out my channel, and for all your love and support. I love you all so much. You take care. Bye.